Hi guys, welcome to Hedgehog's Homestead. Uh, today I'm going to plant some flowers in my garden. Um, these are zinnias that I grew and some other flowers. Can't remember the names of them, isn't that horrible? <laughs> I don't have the best uh, memory for names of things for some reason. But so I'm going to get some zinnias on the ground. I was inspired by Courtney. Um, and uh, so I'm going to get these in the ground and um, get them growing so we can have. I've got lots of pollinators in my garden, but it could always hurt to have some more, right? To give them some flowers to have. So I'm going to get these in the ground and then I got to string up my tomatoes more. Um, they're starting to produce like crazy and uh, they're not all ripe yet, but they're my tomatoes are growing like crazy right now. They love this heat that we finally got on here. And uh, I've got lots of um, other things growing as well. My cucumbers are taking off and my uh, pumpkins are taking off. Um, so it's, it's pretty, pretty awesome. So I'm excited. This is the time of year where, you know, um, you've gotten most of the work done that you've been working on in the garden and now it's just maintenance and uh, it's a beautiful thing to see all your hard work um, producing fruits and vegetables and it's just that miracle of um, that growth and awesomeness that God creates and, and you know we put our hands to work and he blesses it and it's just such a wonderful thing to to do and and watch god's work so i'm gonna get to work getting these in the ground and um tying up some things and uh getting to it um i'm gonna be clipping some of my um leaves out here that are damaged um, I've got some damage on some plants too and, and then I'm gonna water in the little seedlings that I have I've started a fall crop of beans and and uh, uh, just you know some fall things out here I'm also starting some stuff inside tomorrow I'll bring you a video of what I'm doing with my seedlings inside and how that's progressing um, but let's get these zinnias in the ground, right? Okay, where to plant them now? I haven't thought this part through. So, let's see here. I think there's nothing in this bed over here. Let's see here. It's nice and shaded over here, too. See? Put one here and here. Ouch. in the middle of the bed here because my ducks, bless their hearts, will eat them all. And they're just on the other side of this fence here. And I also have a grape to plant today. A grape um, plant um, of seedless red grapes. So, um, this. Oh, 
Don't these look good, guys? Um, start some zinnias by seed next year and get them planted in your garden. It's a great thing. Um, they are so easy to start. Once they get past this point, you just trim them down and then they bush out more. And so super easy to grow. Is that you over there complaining, huh? She's my gabber. I'm gonna put two in this hole because this one's a small one. I have other other flowers in my garden, like those ones there. Um, but uh, and they do attract the pollinators as well. So, all right. All right, time to get to work on this other stuff. I gotta tie up some more tomatoes. Those ones are tied up but I can't tie them up anymore because they're growing over the trellis um, that's what happens when you have indeterminate tomatoes it looks like I can cut up a do a couple more right there and right there to tie them up and then over here they're growing over the trellis nicely too and look I got all kinds of tomatoes coming on there they just take a little longer here in the Northwest. We don't have the ideal weather for growing tomatoes. So back to work, as Mike Patey would say. So my husband says, reference Mike Patey when you say back to work. You can't just say back to work. I gotta say, Mike Patey says back to work. <laughs> I don't know. Um, if you look him up, he's a he's he's a pilot and he uh, makes his own planes. And my husband's a little he's my husband's a minion of him, a minion. How do you say that? Minion. Yeah. Anyways. He likes gardener tape um, awesome stuff because I can just go like this break it off put it in my back pocket and there you go been our thing that we say around here now back to work and I don't watch them that much but it's stuck in my head it's one of those things that just kind of stick with me just lots of tomato be careful when you're doing this it's been so dry here which is good for us for growing stuff um, 
we're usually on the wet side all the time. I have little volunteers that I'm keeping because I liked the tomatoes that I grew in these beds last year. So we'll see how big they get if they give us anything. I planted cucumbers everywhere and they're trellising on anything that they can find. <laughs> like over there, you can see a nice little cucumber on there. And it's just kind of going over here and then this is pumpkin. I thought it was just squash that I could use. I'm, I'm terrible about mixing up my plants and I need to get better at that. So if anybody has some tips for that um, or can send me to a video where they have some tips for I mean, I just need to be diligent about it, I'm sure. But, um, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's embarrassing when you're showing it on YouTube and you're going, I don't know what that is. I think that this looks like this. And uh, of course, all squash look alike, right? Tommy wants the tomato I just took off. Cucumbers are coming on, and this cucumber is just going all over the ground.
So this year's lesson is to trellis your, for me, sorry, this year's lesson for me, sorry, I got a rock in my, my shoe. This year's lesson for me is to make sure I trellis my cucumbers better. Um, and I'm having the best success this year with cucumbers. And that's great because I started all of them from seed, so. Makes you happy, right? just taking some shears and I'm going through all my squashes and tomatoes and things like that and just cutting off any damaged leaves um, or thinning an area um, and yeah that's pretty much it um, because you don't want um, your plant sending energy to try to heal a broken spot um, so that's that's one way to organic garden there's so many I have other videos where I show I show you what fertilizers and what pest control you can use in an organic garden if you use pest control you have to wash your vegetables just even with organic okay just because it's not poisonous to bees and stuff like that um, BT is though so um, I don't use, I use BT so sparingly because I don't want to kill the pollinators in the garden and it will. Um, so use it sparing, sparingly if you have to. You don't want to kill those pollinators. You don't want to kill uh, ladybugs and things like that um, because those are really good for your garden. They take care of the pests for you. So. I'm just going to show you what I'm cutting off and how I'm doing it. And when you cut leaves off a squash plant or anything like that, um, you really want to make sure you get it as close to the s main stem as possible, okay? That's for my slugs, guys. I don't drink that. <laughs> okay, the rest of the leaves look pretty good, so I'm going to leave those alone and move on to the next. You also want to look at the bottom of your leaves as well and squash any like um, any little eggs that are on there. All right, those leaves look good, except there's a couple spots of powdery mood, uh, mildew. So I might have to come back with some milk, water solution and spray it all down. I don't want that spreading. So now I'm just gonna uh, focus the camera on the areas that I'm working since I've shown you what I'm doing now and you can just watch me. I'll probably, I'm gonna put this in a time warp, a time lapse. There we go. <laughs>
you can hear me really good. Sorry, my place is right, my garden's right next to the air conditioner. I can't help that. It's the best uh, area in my, house, in my yard that gets the most sun. Um, so, looks like we got some powdery mildew coming on. And so, and I've got lots of little black um, spots all over everything. So I don't know what kind of bug this is. That was definitely seeds, but they're seed, they're not seeds, I'm sorry. They are um, little eggs. And these aren't the kind of eggs that you can get off with a, uh, I was trying to use some duct tape to get them off, but these aren't the kind of eggs you can get off with duct tape. I don't know what this is. If you guys know what this is, what, what pest is doing this, looks like I need to spray because it looks like I'm about to have an outbreak of something. So I'll get in here tonight when it's cooler because I do not want to spray these plants. That just takes some milk and some water. You mix that together and you spray every all your stuff down. It doesn't always get it, but it, it will keep it under control if I get it early enough. Um, the um, the little black spots, if you guys know what those are, what eggs those are from, I'll show you on, whoops, I missed a bad, bad one right there. Um, See these little black spots here? And you can see the powdery mildew as well. So I need to take care of that. I gotta be aggressive. <laughs> Time to cheerily be aggressive. Um, anyways, so that's what I need to do on those plants. Um, but I wanna do that at night. I wanna do it when it's oh, cooler. First thing in the morning. Um, so I'll do that tomorrow and um, I, I'm gonna research uh, what pests leave those kinds of spots. They're all over my whole garden. So, um, so I know what best to spray with. Um, hopefully neem oil. I, I have plenty of things. Hopefully I won't have to use uh, BT, um, but because I don't, I've got these lovely pollinators in here and I don't want to lose uh, lose them. I might have to pollinate by hand. If I... Hi, you guys. So this is what I did with my um, grapes. They'll grow up on this trellis here. You can barely see it because of the light. Um, this area gets sun for a good part of the day. Um, I'm gonna have to tie that part of the trellis over there to that bucket though because I can't get it to the ground there it's so hard so unfortunately I have to do that um, but yay it should bring grapes on by the fall and one more last thing I need to do here is I need to take care of this and get some iron tone or iron stuff out here I'll show you what I'm going to use I'm going to go grab that and take care of that and I need to get a bigger steak for that voluntary tomato. So, back to work. There we go. Finally done. <laughs> Better go turn that water off. forgot about that so uh, thank you guys for coming along with me today please like and subscribe and as always God bless you and yours in every way <laughs>